Hi, I'm going to perform the hydrated crystals lab. So if you miss this lab, watch this, collect your data. What you need to do is make sure you look at the procedure in Schoology so that you know how to make your data table. So look through the procedure every time it says to mass and record that mass, list that out and be specific. Like if it's just the crucible, write crucible. If it's the crucible plus the lid, make sure you say that as well. All right, so first part is it's taking a clean, empty crucible, putting it on a clay triangle. So this is a clay triangle. Okay, it sits in the ring stand with the Bunsen burner, just like the picture. All right, um, and it's to heat it like this with the lid slightly ajar, which means just off a little bit um, for about three minutes. Once you've heated it, you shouldn't touch it again with your hands. All right, so I'm going to put the lid back on. I've already done this step, right? I let it cool, so now I'm going to mask this. So the first mask is the empty crucible with the lid. I'm just going to include the lid every time. So this is 24.87 grams. So make sure you record that. All right, so then it says, um, let's see, I'm on number four. It says add two to three grams of the copper two sulfate hydrate to the crucible, mass the crucible and lid with the hydrate. All right, so I'm gonna take the lid off for a second. All right, here's my copper two sulfate. All right, so it says to add two to three grams. So I'm going to zero this. There we go, all right. And if it says two to three, that means I can be anywhere over two, but anywhere less than three. All right, I'm at 1.83, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. There we go. 2.31 grams, so I'm in the range, but now the mass I want is not just that. I want to know the mass of the crucible with the hydrate and the lid. So I'm going to do lid back on. Mix this up. Zero it. Okay. So crucible, lid, and hydrate is 27.17 grams. All right, so make sure that's recorded. So next, it says, with the lid slightly ajar, I'm going to heat it. Okay, so I'm going to put it back in my clay triangle here. Slightly ajar. I'm going to take this off and just oops, move it to the side. Okay. So now, as I heat it, what will happen is that water from the hydrate that's loosely bonded will evaporate. Okay, so I'm going to turn this down. My initial one, I heated it quite a bit, so the bottom was glowing. This one, I'm going to do a little lower gas, a little bit cooler of a flame. I don't want to heat it quite as much. All right, and I'm going to heat this for about 12 minutes. So I want to make sure the bottom's not glowing. I don't want to heat it too much too fast. What I'm also going to notice is what it looks like in there. So while that's starting, I forgot to show you what was in the crucible, what it looked like. So I'll show you now. We'll see if I can get this. You see the blue crystals there? All right. So copper two sulfate are these blue, very pretty blue crystals. Okay. And I remember hydrate doesn't mean it's liquid, right? It means it has water loosely bonded. So what I'm noting right now is, let's see if it's happening already. Yeah, on the edges, it's starting to get kind of white. It's basically losing its color. All right, so I'm going to let, I'm going to heat this for about 12 minutes. So I'm going to pause it so you don't have to wait for 12 minutes and watch this. Um, and then I'll come back when it's about done. So I'll pause now. If you haven't made your data table, do that. Okay, so it finished heating. I turned off the Bunsen burner and everything. I want to show you what it looks like now, though, before I mass it. If I can do this without spilling, that would be great. All right, it's pretty light in there, as you can see. It's maybe it's hard to focus on that, but it's not that bright blue anymore. Okay, so when the water left, we evaporated it. Okay, it changed colors. All right, so now I'm going to take and get the mass of our anhydrous salt, meaning no water, salt meaning ionic compound, so no water, not a hydrate anymore, with the crucible and the lid, and we've got 26.31 grams. 
All right, so now you should be able to, now that you've got all your data, you should be able to um, answer the ask questions. Make sure you wrote down the observations of what it looked like before and after as well.